flying and driving around 3D virtual cities can not only be fun, like we did earlier, but also incredibly valuable when it's applied to understanding and designing our world. However, the challenges have been in creating the 3D data. It takes time to build 3D simulations. We're going to show you some new approaches and techniques to address these challenges and create a whole new environment for 3D geo design and simulation. Please welcome our 3D product manager, Gert Van Maren. Thanks, John. With the 10 release, ArcGIS became a complete system for 3DGIS, and the response has been very positive. The number one comment we got from you as users, though, was. We would love to go 3D, but we only have 2D data. How can we create great 3D data? Well, let me show you how. As Jack mentioned earlier, we've acquired Procedural, maker of CD Engine. And this software allows you to take your GIS data, apply procedural rules, and generate high quality 3D content. Here we have CD Engine with building footprints coming from ArcGIS and attributes such as building height. Now, I can select all my building footprints and apply a rule to generate 3D buildings. Now, a rule is basically a script file that tells the software how to generate 3D content based on your GS data. Now, in this case, it's just a simple extrusion, and we're applying uh, generic random textures. If, however, you have more information available in your GIS about your buildings, such as number of floors, floor height, or roof type, the system can take that information and improve the quality of the 3D models. Now, you can edit your data by either editing attributes in ArcGIS or changing the rules in CD Engine. So here, for example, I can change the roof type, and I can also generate a higher level of detail for this specific building if needed. And if you already have existing 3D models for your buildings, you can easily integrate these as well into the city scene. I can also drag in street center lines and apply a street rule to generate 3D streets. And in this case, I'm using the width attribute in the GS data to drive the width of the 3D streets. You can really model your city the way you want it based on your GS data. But not only can we create 3D content, with this software, we can design in 3D as well. Let's have a look here at this empty area in the middle of my city. I have parcel data with attributes such as maximum building height, setbacks, and offsets. And I can apply a residential urban planning rule to generate 3D massing models that reflect the planning regulations. And I can then further fine tune my design by changing the rules. So for example, I can change the distance to the parcel boundary. I can enable my setbacks and I can change the setback distance. And you saw that the model was updated instantly. So one great feature of City Engine is that it supports so-called styles. And styles are sets of predefined rule parameters that make it very easy to change between different design proposals or to improve the quality of your design. So in this case, you see that we improve the facade quality of these 3D massing models. Now finally, to finish off my design, I need to add a street. So I can very simply draw a street. And you will notice that the rule is automatically applied. And then I need to change the width of my street to make it fit in between the buildings. And then I want to make it actually not a street, but a footpath. So I apply a footpath ru a rule. Now, you'll notice that I, draw, I drew my footpath straight across this main street. 
So what I now very simply and easily can do, I can drag it up, and you'll notice that CD Engine automatically creates a bridge in this location. Now, once you've finished modeling your city, you can bring it back into ArcGIS for further analysis or export it out to high-end simulation engines. And over the coming months, we will further integrate the capabilities of CD Engine into the ArcGIS platform. And this will enable anybody that needs high-quality 3D content, such as urban planners, facility managers, architects, users in the defense and simulation industry, to easily create and design in 3D. This truly is amazing technology created by a great team in Switzerland. It is exciting.